Angela Petrilli here with my friends at Fishman for a brand new episode of the Riff Rundown. It's going to be a really, really fun one today. So today we're going to be learning Parachute by Chris Stapleton. Such a fun song. No bar chords in this one, folks. Uh, lots of beginner friendly chords with this tune. Really cool riffs. We're not going to go past the fifth fret um, on, on these riffs. Really, really fun stuff. Again, I want to mention that we are going to be tuned down a half step on the guitar, okay? So we're usually in standard, we're tuned to E, A, D, G, B, and E, but for this tune, I want you to tune all of the strings down a half step. So the E becomes an E flat, A becomes an A flat, D becomes a D flat, so on and so forth, all right? So have those guitars ready to go. And before we get started, folks, I always like to mention, if you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause, folks. It helps the cause. And uh, I always like to ask a question. So let's see here. Let me know where you are tuning in from, okay? And your favorite guitar riff. So those are the two things I want to know today before we get started. So let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite guitar riff. So here we go. So here is Parachute by Chris Stapleton. So there's gonna be lots of cool riffs in this. Okay, really, really big. Strumming is super, super important here with this song. The acoustic guitar drives this song. And those of you who aren't familiar with this tune, it's from his Traveler album. Such a great song, really, really great production. There's mandolin in here and stuff. And it's just absolutely, it's a, it's a great tune. It's a great tune. So I'm really, really excited to teach you guys how to play this one today. So as I mentioned, very beginner friendly, I'd say beginner intermediate, but my advanced folks who are watching today, there's always something to learn here. There's always something to learn. All right. And again, before we get started, I want to mention too, the EP uh, has been successfully funded. Those of you who pledged to my EP Kickstarter, thank you all so, so much. I can't wait to share the new music with you guys. So I just wanted to say that before we got started. Know that I am so, so incredibly grateful. So thanks, you guys. Really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to break this intro riff down into one, two, three, four, five, six, eight parts. Okay. So with this, it's pretty friendly here. All right. Not too bad. I'm going to play that intro again, nice and slowly. And again, if you want to play along, I am tuned down a half step on the guitar. All right. So any new folks, who are tuning in, Reckless575, I know you're going to be on this for me. Uh, let, let the folks know that we're going to be tuned down a half step today. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to play the intro riff a little bit slower. All right, so here we go. We 
get into the verse. All right, so let's go ahead and break that down here. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna get our second finger, we're gonna place it on this B note here, fourth fret of that G string. If you wanna slide into it, totally cool. If you wanna just strike the B note, also totally cool, okay? So I, I'm someone who likes to slide a lot. I'm sure those of you have noticed, we've been doing these lessons for over a year. I have a bit of a bluesy flair in my playing, so anytime I can get away with playing a tasteful slide in a tasteful place, I will. So. That's what I'm gonna do there. Yes, and Bart, let's see, or Jake, I love how you mentioned this. Very similar to the stuff that we see in the Wish You Were Here intro. So those of you who know that tune, whether you know how to play it or you know of it, we're gonna have a lot of similar notes here, okay? So sliding or going into just playing that B note fourth fret of that G string. Then we're gonna strike the D note there, third fret of that B string, okay? so. Here's it with the slide from that second fret A. Okay. Now we're gonna strike that D note again and hammer on to E, fifth fret of that B string. Okay? So here's the whole thing. We'll do it with the slide. Okay. So the next bit here is gonna go like this. That was part one. Okay, we got seven more parts. Here's part two. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play G, third fret of that E string. And again, I know we're tuned down a half step, but to keep this easy, I'm gonna to refer to the notes as if we were in standard tuning. Okay, I know we're not, but just to keep things easy and keep things moving along, I'm gonna to refer to it as if they were those notes. Okay, so here we go. Again, part two. So we're going to that G note, third fret of that E string. Third finger, fifth fret of the B string, that note is E. First finger, third fret of that B string. The note is D, D is in dog, okay? Now we're gonna go back to that slide, second fret of the G string A to fourth fret of the G string B, okay? So here's the whole thing, nice and slowly. Now if you'll notice here, have a look at my right hand. Alternate picking here, what do I mean by that? Top and bottom of the string when we pluck these notes. So notice how I pluck downward on that G note. Once I play E, I am plucking upwards. I'm keeping this momentum of top, bottom, top, bottom, okay? I actually hit the top of that, that G string there. I slid, okay? So just like that, let's go ahead, combine parts one, parts two, okay? So here's part one. Real fun little riff, and again, my beginners, I encourage you, you guys can do this, okay? Slow and steady here, perfect practice makes perfect. So let's really take our time. So here we go, let's do that again. One more time. Okay, just like that. So now here for part three, we're gonna now incorporate some hammer-ons. So what we've got here, open D string, hammer on to that E note second fret of the D string, and then incorporate the open G string, which would be that G note. We're gonna strike the G note again, the open G string, and hammer on to A second fret. So part three will sound like this. And again, alternate picking there, don't forget, okay? One more time. Now let's combine parts one, two, and three of the intro. I'm gonna do it a little slowly here and then I'll pick up the speed. Part three. 
do that one more time, scooch faster. Okay, and notice how I'm doing a little bit of sustain, kind of wiggling that note just a little bit. We don't want to change the note. We don't want it to be a really aggressive bend. We just want to give it a little bit of a wiggle. Ah, perfect timing. And again, this is live Q&A, folks. If you guys have questions, um, I'm going to be taking questions throughout the, the lesson here and throughout the hour. So let's see. Dean S. is asking, hey, Angela, are you playing uh, 12 or 11s on your acoustic? I am playing 12s. So these are Daddario um, Nickel Bronze. These are the, the actual strings that I'm using here. I really like them a lot. Uh, I think they, they continue to sound awesome. Uh, they, they, they sound really good. They've been really, really fun to play. So that's what I've got on here. They are 12s. Also, too, keep in mind when we are tuned down a half step, it's going to be a little bit easier to get to some of these riffs just because the strings are loosened them just a little bit. Okay? So really good question, Dean. Thank you for that. So let's go ahead and do it again from the top, parts one, two, and three, and then we'll incorporate part four. Okay? So here we go. Nice and slowly. Uh, we'll speed it up a little. We've been playing this enough. Let's speed it up a little. One more time. So now let's look at part four. Part four is going to sound like this. Okay, again, really cool, bluesy, awesome, awesome riff, okay? So what we've got here, second finger on the second fret of that G string, that note is A. Again, we're gonna slide it back up to B, B as in boy at that fourth fret of the G string. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play another B note, but this time it's gonna be the open B string. Now, with this, we don't want those notes ringing together. That we don't want. We want to touch it and come back. Okay, we don't want it to ring too long. So, sliding from A to B, and then from there, B back to A, fourth fret to second fret G string. Okay, open G string, just like that. Okay, so let's play that part nice and slowly here. Now what we're going to do here, second finger, second fret of that D string, that note is E. We are going to release, open D string, D note, and then hammer back to that E note. Okay? So I'm going to play the whole thing, parts one, two, three, and four for context, okay? I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. And also too, I wanna to mention, this riff, Chris Stapleton plays it at the top on an electric. But when I was listening to this, I'm like, I'm gonna to totally teach you guys how to play this on acoustic. So if you have an electric guitar today and you wanna play this song along with us, you could totally do it on electric too. This is, a, this is an electric riff, but I figured it's cool on acoustic too. So why not do it, all right? So parts one, two, three, and four, here we go. I'm gonna slow it down and here we go. Again. Okay, so that open G string, open D string, hammer onto the E note. All right, so let's go ahead and look at part two. So, the, 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 so that's the first section. Let's look at section two, so this would be part five. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is it's gonna sound like this, very similar to part one. I'll do that again, part two. Right? 
So that's what's happening there. The first three parts, very close to what we did at the top. Someone is asking here, Bart's asking, hey, can, can this tune be played in standard? Absolutely. If you wanted to play along to the album, the album is in half step. So if you, if you want to play along to it, it might sound a little weird if you're in standard and they're in, in, in half step, but if you wanted to play this live in uh, standard tuning, you absolutely could. Absolutely could. All right. So let's look at part five. Guess what? Same as part one. With part six. Okay. I heard a little bit of a slide going from the second fret of that E string, F sharp, into G third fret. then into E, then to D, sliding from A to B, second fret G string to fourth fret B. Okay, so that's the one difference there. We'll play that again nice and slowly. It's just a little slide there, right? Just like that, nice and delicate. Part three is going to be the same, right? That's going to stay the same there. All right. So let's go ahead here. Let's try this again from the top. Let's do that one more time. So the final bit here, okay, this is the last part. It's going to sound like this. Okay, a little bit different than part one. We're going to slide that second finger, second fret of the G string. Now notice A. Open B string, don't let it sustain too long, okay? Touch it and let it go. Then going back, sliding back from B to A, second fret of that D string, that note is E, and then hammering on open D string D to back to E, second fret. All right, so let's do the whole second part, parts five through eight. Let that ring for another extra measure too. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the whole thing. Okay, parts one through eight. All right, so here we go. Do with a little speed and then we'll get to the verses and the choruses. All right, so here we go. That's the intro. Pretty cool stuff, right? We're gonna see this again, so don't worry. We're not just learning it for the one part. It's a really cool riff, so we're gonna see it a lot, a lot. So let's go ahead, before we get into the verses and the choruses, let's see where everyone is tuning in from. I always like to know. So we've got Boulder, Colorado in the house. We got Indiana here. Let's see, we've got Italy here. Thank you so much, Montreal. Oh my gosh, this is great. Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. O-H-I-O, thanks for being here. South Laguna Beach, killer. Newberry Park, California, we got Chicago here. We've got Scotland, Jake, welcome. 
We got Queensland, Australia. Oh my gosh. John, I hope it's not too late over there. Thanks for tuning in. This is great. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We got Brazil in the house. We got Canada, eh? Good to see you, Randy. All right. So let's see. San Diego. Love San Diego. Thanks for being here. Greg. Got Mammoth County, New Jersey. Got Alabama here. South Carolina. This is great stuff. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And we got Germany, too. Thank you all for being here, folks. This is, this is great. Happy to have you. We've got Argentina, Newfoundland, Canada. Craig, that's a place I want to visit one of these days. And we got Alberta, Canada here and Hilton Head. This is wonderful. Thank you all for being here. Wanted to give you guys all a shout out. Thanks so much for being here. So let's go ahead and look at the verses. So again, as I mentioned at the top, the acoustic is what drives this tune. All right. The chords aren't particularly difficult. They're very beginner friendly chords. It's going to be an E minor, G, D, and C. Okay. So it'll sound something like this. I'm going to do it to speed. So it's like this. So those are the chords that are happening there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to break this down. All right. So the chords E minor, what are the one flat three, five that makes up this chord E, G and B your second finger for my beginners who are watching and don't know how to play an E minor chord. I'll talk about it briefly. Second finger, second fret of that A string. That note is B place that third finger, second fret of the D string. That note is E strum everything. One of the first chords I teach my students right there. Fun one to play. All right. We're going to do G like this. When I was watching them play this live on Saturday Night Live, I believe it was like 2016, I think. I'd have to look back. It's a really great performance. Um, I believe, from what I could tell, the acoustic guitar player was doing it in this fashion. So second finger, third fret of that E string, that note is G. Again, G, B, and D. Those are our target notes here. First finger, second fret of the A string, that note is B. There's our third. Check that off the list open D string, open G string. So right there, we've got our one, three, five done, ready to go. Third finger placing that on the third fret. The B string, that note is D and your fourth finger, G note, third fret, E string. And just like the last one, strum everything. Next chord is gonna be a D major. Okay, so this D major here, first finger on the second fret of the G string, that note is A. Again, what are the notes we're looking for here? D. F sharp and A, our one, three, and five, all right? So our third finger is going to be placed on the D note, third fret of that B string, second finger, second fret of the E string. That's your F sharp, that's your third. So it should look and sound like that. Strum from the open D string. And that's what you should get. Again, friendly reminder, we are tuned down a half step today, all right? So the next chord is gonna be a C. So first finger, first fret, that B string, there's your C note. Again, C, E, and G are our target notes here today. Second finger reaching up, making sure we're getting a nice curl here. Second fret of that D string, that note is E, reaching with your third finger again. Nice, good round shape. Think of making a bridge here, all right? Third fret of that A string, that note is C. Just like that, not too bad, not too bad, all right? So that's what's happening there. Now, when we're thinking about the strumming pattern, it's very, very percussive, very driving. When I was listening back to this, it's almost like a train. So if I play this, think about a train in your head, okay? So I'm gonna do this again. getting that nice driving force here. How do we do that on guitar? Well, me personally, I like to strum with a pretty wide. Okay. I, I don't always strum solely from, from the wrist. Notice my elbow, how I'm getting a lot of that. 
a lot of that swing from the elbow. There's gonna be a little bit of movement in the wrist, but I don't want a ton, at least for me, that's how I like to play. If you ask another guitar player, it might be different. Um, but for me, that's what feels really comfortable, okay? And I love the sustain of an instrument, particularly a cool uh, guitar that has a lot of expressiveness. I wanna make sure I, I get all of that. So a wider strum for me is the uh, is, is way to go. It's the way to go, that's what I like. So. It's gonna be our basic strumming pattern here, but something I want you to keep in mind. So the guitar pick, all right? Use whatever gauge is comfortable for you. My beginners who are watching or starting to get used to strumming and figuring all this out, maybe start with a lighter gauge pick. And then as you get more comfortable working your way up to maybe something that's a bit heavier, okay? So I am using a medium gauge pick here. So 73 is what I'm using here today. Um, we want the pick to do the work for us, all right? We don't wanna squeeze the life out of the pick because that's, it, it, it's kind of counterintuitive. You think if you really hold the pick really hard, it's going to stay in your hand. I find when I hold the pick too hard, it tends to fly out and, and usually land inside the guitar where I will never find it again um, or end up under a couch where I will also never find it again. It ends up in the, the pick abyss. Those guitar players, you guys know, it, they, they exist in all of our homes. And uh, it's not fun when you lose picks to the, the, the pick abyss. So we want to hold it, okay, firmly, but not, you don't want to squeeze life out of it, all right? And I like to say, and I, I heard this, and I think it is so true, a pick or a plectrum, wherever you're from, is the cheapest amplifier you can buy, all right? So we want we want it to do the work for us. We are gliding across the strings rather than going through the peaks and valleys, right? And what I mean by that is the spaces in between these strings. We don't wanna be super aggressive. These picks are a lot stronger than we give them credit for, so let them do the work for you, all right? So let them just glance, right? On top of those strings, all right? So we don't wanna to dig too hard here. So that's gonna be our strumming pattern. I'm gonna play this nice and slowly here. And for this E minor, remember we're strumming every single string, okay? So I'll do this nice and slowly here. And follow along. Just like that. So our next chord here, we're gonna have a G chord. So let's switch to G. E minor. Back, let's do that again. E minor to G. Now we're gonna incorporate our D chord. This is something that I like to do whenever possible, right? The use of these pivot points. Have a look at my third finger. The next chord is gonna be D major. Have a look at the third finger, watch. Notice how I did not move it, okay? Why expel the energy and lift and then put it right back where it was? Leave it there, all right? So. Now to D. See how we kept that down? All right, so what we wanna do here. So let's go back, E minor, G, and D. This is the strumming pattern, nice and slowly here. At least the strumming pattern for the acoustic. We'll talk about what Chris is doing in a moment. So here we go. Let's do that one more time and then we'll incorporate the C chord in this pattern. Okay, so here we go. Now C. Let's do that again.
So they do this fun little thing. Where they incorporate a C-sus too. So it sounds like this in context. So we get those pushes there, right? So that's what's happening there before we get to the verse, but guess what? These verse chords are exactly the same. So. How we do a C sus four, all you're gonna do, and those of you who caught it, glad you did, lift that second finger. Now we're playing that D note. So that's what the chord sounds like. Sus2, right? But, so the two is referring to that D note. It's the second note in the key of C. And then we bring it back. So we get those really, really nice sus2 back to the major. Really, really pretty chords. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that again. We're gonna pick up the speed. Think of think like you're a train. Let's do that again. So when we're talking about the verse here, we're not gonna have that. We're still gonna be really, really big here. All right, we're still gonna be really big. So again, same exact chords. Okay, we're not gonna have that extra measure of C, at least in the first part of the verse. We're not gonna have it. So they're all gonna be the same amount of measures. E minor, G, to D, to C, E minor, G, to D, then to that C. Then we get that extra measure where we put in the C sus2 back to C. Then we go to our chorus. But before we get to our chorus, let's talk about what's happening with the electric guitar that's gonna come up in this chorus. So at least in this first verse here, we're getting that driving acoustic. And again, if you guys aren't familiar with this song, give it a listen, it's fantastic. The words are great, the singing's great, the production's great. Just a great tune and a great album too. Traveler by Chris Stapleton is just, oh, it's such a great album. So when we get to the chorus, guess what? Exactly the same chords. Exactly the same pattern. And that's what that acoustic is gonna be doing. To that G chord. To that D, back to C. Love this, love this. Really, really great progression. So what's happening on the electric side? So the electric side, all Chris is doing here is he's letting these ring as whole notes. Now what I noticed here when he was playing this, and there's a part of the video on the SNL where he did like a C add nine. He did that instead. So some of these chords here that he chooses to play are just slightly different. We're still, instead of playing a D major, like the acoustic is playing, he's playing a D5. So I'll show you what I mean here. So it'd be something like this. A little bit different, different colors. 
So let's talk about that. So the E minor and G, we're gonna keep the same. We're gonna do a D5. So it looks like a D major, but what we're gonna do here, that second finger, we're gonna lift it up, but we're not gonna play the open E string because that's a D sus two. That we don't want for this song. Do I agree it's a killer chord? Yes. But we're not gonna play it here. To me, it sounds like he's just doing this. What we wanna do here is we're gonna play the open D string, G string, and B string. That's it. So just like that, all right? So let's look through that again. And again, we're whole notes here. And then we're gonna go to the C add nine. Great chord, probably my favorite guitar chord. I love a C add nine. So we're gonna do here, second finger on the third fret of that A string. That's your C. Your second finger, go ahead and place that on the second fret of the D string, that note is E. We're gonna have the G note there. And your third finger is going to be on the third fret of the B string, that note is D. All right. If you happen to catch the high E, it's cool, I actually like it. But yeah, if you catch it cool, if you don't, that's okay too, all right? So let's go ahead and play these as whole notes. One, two, three, four. 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 Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So notice again the pivot point here with that third finger on the D5 to the C add nine. All right, so why lift when you're gonna put it right back where it was, okay? So let's do that again one more time here. One more time. Beautiful chords, and again, no bar chords here. Just stunning, stunning chords play in a really, really awesome way. So we've got those chords that are being played as whole notes, and then we have the, on the opposite side here, the acoustics. driving it forward, okay? Again, that's a really good textural element here that Chris does in playing with those whole notes there. It really brings things together. I think it's awesome. Aw, oh, thanks so much. Everyone's loving the, how this Martin is sounding. Thank you so much. Again, uh, if you guys want to find out more about the Fishman gear that I'm using, so I'm going through an R Spectrum DI, uh, which I love, and I know I talk about this at every lesson, but it is so absolutely true. Uh, I, I play every acoustic gig with that preamp. I totally love it. So. It's, it's killer, I love it. You wanna find out more about it, I have a link in the video description so you can click on that. And then as far as the pickups here, they are the Fishman Matrix Enhance here that we have. So yeah, it's good It's good stuff all around, folks. You wanna find out more, do that. And also too, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, find these lessons are helpful, spread the word, click that like button, thumbs up. It helps the cause, folks, it helps the cause. Thank you all so much. So. After this chorus here, we go back to that intro riff. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? So nice and slowly here, what I'm gonna do, let's ease into that verse, and then I'll call out the chorus, and then we'll go into that intro riff, all right? So here we go, I'm gonna play it a little bit faster, I'm gonna play it to speed, I think, we, I think we've, we've got there, all right? So let's go ahead here, so. We're doing the acoustic.
chorus. folks. Super fun one to play. It's great. So from there, let's go into that intro riff. two folks again that driving forward strumming here on the acoustic again keeping in mind here all right I like to strum from the elbow using that as the fulcrum of the bend I like to do that I'm a fan of strumming that way so again driving force think like a train cha 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 all right so it's uh it's fun time. It's a fun tune. It's a fun tune. I'm so, so happy you guys are here and enjoying it. Please let me know. How's everybody coming? How's everybody feeling with this? Why does this remind me of Wish You Were Here? Because it's very, very similar to Wish You Were Here. We're playing a lot of the same notes. A lot of the same notes. So please let me know how everybody is doing um, on this so far. Again, we are live, live, live here today. If you're enjoying the lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Share them with a friend. It helps the cause. Click that like button. And again, I'm going to be playing some shows in L.A., Coming up, keep an eye out on my website, angelapatrillimusic.com. You could see it all there. Lots of cool stuff happening. And again, wanted to say thank you to all the folks who helped raise money for my fundraiser for my EP. I am just so, so incredibly thankful. So thank you all. So I'm going to be recording that EP on August 27th here in Los Angeles. So yeah, it's good stuff indeed. So thank you all so much. All right. So. After that intro riff, we go into verse two, we go into another chorus, all right? So in that, so after the chorus, we're gonna have an instrumental break, all right? And the instrumental break is gonna sound like this, and they're already chords we know, folks. We're gonna repeat that twice, E minor, G, D. Let that ring. You've got the acoustic, again, strumming away. Think like a train. So we're gonna do that part twice. So that's what's happening there in that instrumental break. So after this, we get into the guitar solo, which is a ton of fun, very similar to what we have done already with a little bit more embellishments here. So here's how that goes. That's the solo. Notice, I don't go past the fifth fret, and it is so melodic and so beautiful, and you guys can so play this, okay? That's the thing with these lessons. I, I, I know you guys can play this. I know you guys can play this. Slow and steady here, all right? With good technique, right? Perfect practice makes perfect. We can do this stuff, and I know you guys can do it too. So let's, I'm gonna break this down into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine parts, nine parts, we're gonna do it, all right? So, lucky for us, very similar to the intro. Um, very similar to the intro. Let's see, ooh, this is a great question. Again, this is live Q&A, so if you guys have questions about stuff, I'd like to love to take your questions. Um, Tom is asking, Angela, would you also recommend finger picking this? Listen, if you had finger picks, because this reminds me very much of like a banjo lick. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you want to do it with finger picks, totally awesome. Totally awesome. Again, what's comfortable for you. Me, I really like um, alternate picking this. That's what feels comfortable to me. To me, I find finger picks a little inhibiting to me right now in my playing journey. Who knows? Maybe down the road I'll love them. Uh, but to me, they're a little bit inhibiting. But if they are comfortable for you, Tom, totally, yes, use them if, if you'd like for sure. Or if you just like to straight finger pick it like Lindsay Buckingham style, awesome, awesome. But again, what brings you joy, my friend? What brings you joy? Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the first part. Let's just focus on that. A lot of open strings, a lot of sliding. Let's talk about it. We're going to slide from that A note, second fret of the G string, to B. Then we're going to play that open B string. And then we're going to slide back from that B note, fourth fret of the G string, back to the second fret. Okay, so it'll sound like this. And then that open G string, let's do it again. From there, we're going to hammer on open D string, then second fret of the D string, E note. So here we go. A little hybrid, or a little bit of alternate picking there. We're going to strike that twice. That E note here, second fret, the D string. And then open D string. All right. Nice and slowly here, let's go ahead and do that first part. Again. One more time. Not too bad, right? Let's go ahead and look at part two. Again, this solo, I love Chris Stapleton solos because they are so awesomely melodic. So awesomely melodic and incredibly lyrical. It's a really, really fun solo. So let's go ahead and look at part two. Open D string, hammer on to the E note second fret. Strike the E note again. Open G string. Striking A note, second fret of the G string, sliding up to B, fourth fret. Let's do that again. Just like that. All right, so let's do that again. Again, I'm using my second finger for the whole thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine it with part one two together. All right, I'll slow it down a little bit. One more time. Don't forget to alternate pick here. It's going to make life a lot easier and make the sound a lot smoother. All right, so here we go. Here's part three. First finger, third fret of that B string. Second finger, fourth fret of the G string. That note is B. So D and B. Sliding back from the fourth fret of that G string B note, a whole step back to A second fret. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's try that again. Parts one, two, and three. One more time. You got this, folks. You got this. 
All right, so that's what's happening there. That's parts one, two, and three. Let's look at part four. Again, lots of open strings here. Lots of open strings, all right? Second finger placing that back on the second fret of that G string, that note is A sliding up a whole step to the fourth fret of that G string, that note is B. Open B string yet again, sliding back from B to A, open G string, hammering on open D string to E, second fret. And then we're gonna hit the open G string. And then we're gonna do that again. And then one more time. And then one more time. So it's gonna sound like this, if I play it a little faster to give it context. Okay. Now let's combine parts one, two, three, and four. Notice how alternate picking here, essential, essential here, all right? So here it is a little quicker. There we go. Last G note. Can't forget that. Um, yeah, isn't this, I love tuning a guitar to E flat. I think it sounds so, so awesome. It sounds a little richer, which I really, really like. So, so yeah, I, and, and again, some folks were asking at the top, could you play this in standard? Absolutely. If you want to play along to the album, though, it's in this tuning, all right? So let's go ahead and, and go ahead and finish the rest of this. So I, I, I said nine parts, I lied. We're gonna, we're gonna do eight instead, okay? We're gonna make it eight parts. So here's the next part. Notice how it's the same as part one. Okay, pretty good stuff. The next part is exactly the same as part two. Now, exactly the same. Great. Now let's combine them. Here we go. what we're gonna repeat it now for the next part this was repeated twice right we're playing the same thing really again very very melodic so let's go ahead and play through the whole thing slowly all right so here we go From there, we are going to a bridge. The bridge for us, lucky. Easy chords, D major. And a C add nine. Really, really beautiful chord here. With the C add nine, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the G note instead of that open E. We're gonna play the G note instead, placing that fourth finger this time on the third fret of the E string, that note is G. So it almost looks like a baby G chord. 
right? So the bridge. Again, driving acoustic. Don't forget to leave that third finger there as your pivot. Now, if you wanted to play the acoustic part here, whole notes. So again, options, same chords, one is playing whole notes, one is just totally like a rocket, just driving, driving through. It sounds totally, totally great. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it from the bridge, that E minor G D. Okay. And then I'm gonna go into the guitar solo into or the instrumental break, I'm sorry. Instrumental break, E minor G D, guitar solo into the bridge, all right? And then we're gonna be, this is, it's, it's, it's a wrap for the most part, folks. I'll have one more little part to teach you. Again, if you guys are enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're curious about all the cool stuff Fishman is up to, click the link in the video description. It'll send you to all the cool stuff I use for these riff rundowns and all, and all of that. So yeah, so let's see. Mike is asking, is this a 00017? You are correct, it's a 00017 Martin in Black Smoke. I've had this guitar for a while. I just absolutely love this thing. I love to teach on it. So that is this guitar. So, all right, let's go ahead and look at the instrumental break. Let's do that again. Into our solo, I'm gonna play it to speed. So then from here, we go into our chorus, whole notes. Really, really great stuff here. So at the second part is where the electric really comes in. C chord, leave it up to you. Now for this outro chorus, we're gonna get some extra bars of that D major chord. What they do here, when we get suspended like that. I think it sounds so cool. All that is there is I'm playing my D major chord. I'm lifting up my first finger and then placing it back down to hammer on the second fret of the G string. Love this chord. We see it in a ton of songs, a ton of songs. All right. So after that outro course, what we're gonna do here, we go back to the intro riff. Let's play it. Now 
we go back to the chords that we saw in that instrumental break, E minor, G, and D. Let that D chord ring. The end of the song I totally love. Upward stroke on the E minor, starting from the high E. Now notice how I did it a little bit closer to the saddle. See how it sounds a little bit different versus if I did it over the sound hole? Depending on your vibe and what you're feeling, I think it's kind of neat. So up to you. Again, I plant the seeds with these lessons, folks. So there you have it. That's Parachute by Chris Stapleton. Such a great song. If you're not familiar with it, go and listen to that and listen to the album because it's, it's just such a, a, a piece of, of art. It is just a solid, solid album. So again, folks, as I always say, wishing you so much success in your musical journey as always. These are here to help you. So, uh, you know, I, I like to send good vibes out and I love the community we're building here. I love how everyone is so kind to each other on the chat. Know that I see it and know that it means a ton. So thank you all for being cool to me and for being cool to each other. I see it and I love it. I love this community we're building here. And again, music is, is what binds us and it's just so incredibly wonderful to see here. So thank you all so, so much. Uh, I will be out of town again for the next two weeks. Don't worry, I will be, the, the lessons will be super fun. And again, just wishing you much success. You guys are great. These are, these are such a blast. And again, everyone who pledged to the Kickstarter, thank you so, so much. Can't wait to share the new tunes with you. What I will say is uh, we're very, very excited about it. All the tunes are different. They're going to be very, very nostalgic too. They got a nostalgic vibe to them. So it's going to be a ton of fun. So again, thank you all again. Again, if you're enjoying the lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out the cool stuff Fishman is up to. And I'm out of here, folks. Have fun learning this one, all right?